What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into so real tea. Uh, proof Maddie was actually pregnant. Get it. What's up, so real gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. Let's get into Maddie. Hospital. Yesterday, Maddie went live on her YouTube channel where she opened up about having a miscarriage for court. She stated that she was pregnant, but she was making sure I don't see no blood in that. My bad did lose the baby and this is not her first one she stated that this happens all the time and she had lost two babies previously she stated that she was doing her best but there was times that she was bleeding and she kind of already knew what was gonna happen now she did state that she is sad that she even brought it to the internet so early but because of everything that was going on in her life and circumstances her emotions was running really high and she just put it out there because her and Corey was breaking up. A lot of people are speculating that Maddie wasn't ever pregnant and they're saying that Corey did confirm. Now, now Maddie did state that she had a miss. Y'all, I'll play queen after we get off this video. My bad. <laughs> I'm just realizing y'all said y'all was liking the music. My fault miscarriage and this is not her first time while maddie and corey was going through all of this argument i recall on august 12th maddie had posted up in the hospital and this was the same day she started her close friends and things like that and she was going live and she had stopped going live and ended up in the hospital due to everything that was going on she was going through a lot of stress and she stated that she was bleeding that day so i don't know if this was the same day that she had the miscarriage or what because i haven't heard anything other than that but she did post herself in the hospital and she did post herself receiving a sonogram now she never gave an update uh. I don't, uh, so I guess this went to her close friends. After that, and I'm gonna guess this is why. But you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Do you think that... How'd they press on y'all stomach hard like that and y'all pregnant as hell? <laughs> this video proved she was actually pregnant? Or do you think she just did that just to add to the delusion? You guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, I was trying to, I'm trying to go live, but it's not letting... I can show you guys like what's going on right now. I'm not sure happening. I think it says people were freaking reporting my live or something, but it says that I have access, so I'm just gonna email they have them. To make sure the heartbeat is high. What they say? Wait. You gotta, they have to make sure the heartbeat isn't high and it doesn't hurt. Oh, that looked like it hurt to me. Cause I'd rather just do live than have to record all of this. Cause now this is like, it's just a lot. And then it says that um, I'm at the hospital right now. This mad stuff happened Prayer's more once. Vaginal. Like, like this witch girl is blowing up my phone. I have I'm at the hospital right now because I started bleeding. And um I'm thinking that I'm gonna be I'm thinking that I'm What witch girl blowing up my phone? Okay. Because I've bled before and we've had a scare before and I was still okay. Um but now I'm obviously going through this by myself, like you know, being here by myself. But it's like I think I'm okay. But it's just the principle. Just I think this was a blessing in disguise, Maddie. The, the principle of all of this stuff going on at once like i got here this fast like y'all saw me just post y'all saw like this is all happening like this i'm literally how is this my life right now like what are the what are the odds i really could not sleep last night like i felt restless i think that this whole situation with cj got me in some shit and so i'm gonna be really honest with y'all Right now, like, I don't think that I could fully talk about all of this. I'm going to, I y'all sent you some people, y'all sent y'all money and stuff, and y'all in here, y'all wanna watch my life. And I get that, I hope that y'all can respect that when it comes to this specific situation, we just gonna leave it alone for right now. So this is old, y'all. She's just proving that she was pregnant because a lot of us, including myself, was saying that she wasn't pregnant, even Corey. Of course, Corey ain't shit anyway, but. He said she wasn't pregnant when, in fact, she, I guess, was. I need them, then I'll show you. Uh, All right. I reacted to this. I'm Yesterday, Jordan dropped a new video where he titled it, I can't do it anymore. I miss Kensley. Now, guys, in the video, he did state that it has been two months and he still has not seen Kensley, nor has he spoke to Ciara. Ciara. Well, for child support, I think we knew that he wasn't going to. 
still has him blocked and he's just trying to figure out what he needs to do in order to spend time with his child. He did state that he was going to go shopping for her and buy her some clothes and pampers and things like that, but he couldn't be the one to drop it off because him and C I ain't going to lie y'all. If my baby mama was asking me for money to clearly take care of my child cuz that's what it take. Take care of a child. Money. Um for me to see my baby and not have the baby 24 hours a day because clearly um, I got to work or whatever. Baby, I'm paying her. I'm paying her. She's getting a bag. How Chris dropped a messy Friday video. Yeah, we're not on good terms. After he's done with that, Kaya will be the one to take it over there to make sure Kensley get the things that he got for her. Now guys, for those of you that don't recall, two months ago, Ciara hit Jordan Lacey with, with child support papers. They were supposed to have court at the end of that month. Now, no one has not said anything about if they went or what is currently going on oh, when it oh, comes oh. to the child support and visitations and things like that. He didn't really speak on that, but he did state that he does want to see Kensley and he's going to do whatever he has to do. You guys, leave your comments down below and let us know what you think a day ahead of us um i got some shopping to do i gotta go get baby kenzie some clothes and everything today i gotta go get her some shoes i'm gonna go get her some milk i'm gonna go get her some diapers and wipes and stuff and i'm gonna have um i might either give it to kaya yeah i'm just give it to kaya to go drop it off because i i'm currently i currently still can't see her um i'm still blocked and everything you know what i'm saying so i had to communicate with her and that's another thing. I'm not going to lie. If you if you have a child with a man and he every time y'all talk like he makes an issue out of something, block his ass. Um or change your number. Now, I know some of y'all might say that's heartless. You can't take care of a child with your mental being all over the place because he is driving you crazy. And it seems in most cases, men like to argue a lot, but they like to gaslight women and say the women like to argue a lot. When in fact, they always talk about something that ain't got nothing to do with the kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm, I'm having an issue with whatever, but it don't have nothing to do with Kinsley. We ain't got nothing to talk about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I think she, uh, did the right thing by blocking him. Um, I think he's doing the right thing by sending stuff through Kaya. It is what it is. I would still take her to court. I don't know what's going on with that court thing. So I can have my child, but and unfortunately, sometimes this be the best thing to keep everybody alive and make sure everybody uh mental is right. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. She gotta make sure her mental is correct. You already have a child that needs a lot of attention. So your child needing a lot of attention and you not having a lot of time for yourself, that could be a lot on a person. You know what I'm saying? So, um, for some reason, men don't understand that. So it's like, all right, bet. I'm not here to get you any understanding. You know what I'm saying? I don't care for your understanding. I want my sanity to be good and I want my child to be taken care of. So that's why women have gotten this mindset of by any means necessary because niggas play too much. I play too much. So I'm, I'm with her when she right. I think she's right on this one and he'll get it together. I had to communicate with her mom and everything like that. So, <clears throat> so I get in touch with her because I'm still blocked from C and um, through our phone. So my message And I'm going to tell you, I'm not wolfing. I know this from experience. I know this from experience. I may not have had the children, but a part of co-parenting and raising children and things like that, it's best for you to do you. I'm going to do me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever part you can play. That's another thing I feel like. Women should just let them play whatever part that they going to play. But if I need money and you playing, that's a different thing. Because you see now, for some reason with men, when y'all being nice to them, they don't hear that shit. <laughs> they don't hear that. Like, man, fuck this bitch. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no shit. Now she done took the baby, took the card. <laughs> you, you, you can't even have any access to your baby. Now you like, oh, shit. Let me buy some shoes and some diapers and some milk. Bitch, that's all I was asking for in the first place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your baby need lights. Sorry. Your baby need food. Sorry. Your baby need a car. 
Sorry, your baby need gas. Sorry. Like, these niggas just think it's milk. Just think it's, uh, you know, a couple things. No, nah, nigga, you need all these moving factors raise a child. So I just, you know, sometimes you got to put them in their place. I like this. I like this energy right here. <laughs> you know what I'm I was blowing her phone up, just trying to check on her, trying to see what she needs, but the messages weren't going through. Um, I text her mother, you know what I'm saying? So her mother finally responded to me. Because at first she wasn't responding to me either. Oh, you know good. So she finally, finally responded. responded to me. And um, she told me the stuff that she needs, you know what I'm saying? And they said I could just give it to her, see, uh, see her friend to drop it off and stuff like that. So I'm just still. That's another boundary. If you do, if he do get in touch with you, have somebody else drop that shit off. You ain't got to see him. Nothing. 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 It is what it is. He ain't want to play fair in the beginning. And then you got to show him who you really are. I'll do my part as a father. You know what I'm saying? I know my baby needs clothes. I know she needs things. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just still do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? To make sure she's okay. I think he trying though. He doing better than Corey. I tell you that damn shit. Make sure she got clothes and everything. Even though I do want to see her. You know what I'm saying? I really, really do. Um, but I can't. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully one day it just gets better. You know what I'm saying? It gets a lot better. So... <clears throat> Yeah, bro. So we're going to go to the mall today. I'm going to go to a uh, couple more places to get her some clothes. Because I ain't going to lie. I'm going to just get her a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably not even going to look at the price tag. I'm going to just go. I'm going to just get it. Because I know my baby needs stuff. Um, I know. I got a big ass heart. Y'all know I'm grateful. Y'all know I'm happy, bro. Not about this. If we're Definitely doing better than most men. And don't get me wrong. I think he mean well. I think he means well. Do I think he is able to watch that baby 24 hours a day? Fuck no. But do I think he mean well? Yes. Um, I just think that he wasn't understanding. Cause Sierra said, you gave me money for, um, what'd she say? You give me money for Pampers or something. I paid the lights instead of her saying, I'm taking this money to pay with the lights. I need, I still need Pampers or, or however that go. I see why it's a discrepancy in that, but he still got to understand that she need lights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The baby still need lights. Listen to what I'm saying. It's an energy on, I'm going to buy these clothes. I don't care what the price. I'm not even going to look at the price tag. I know she need things instead of paying $200 for the lights. I think that was simple math. Just pay for the lights. Lights and pampers is so much cheaper than buying a whole bunch of clothes, not looking at the tag. They are just ass backwards, you know? And, um... I think clearly because they're just, you know, I can't even say because they just men. Because some men get it. Some men just get it. Some just fucking don't. But I will say, I, I think he is trying more so than not. Um, they just got to know how to show up, you know? That from, from anybody, you know what I'm saying? But ever since this incident, I ain't gonna lie. I've never received as many hate comments as I, as I did, you feel me? Uh, with the situation that I had going on with my, with my daughter and stuff like that. And <laughs> at the end of the day, bro, I'm not trying to make no situation worse. You feel me? I just want to see my daughter. Um, and that's it. That's the end of the story. Like, I went to go knock on uh, her door like three times. YouTube! Uh, both cars was there. You know, you know what I'm saying? Her friend car was there and her car was there. So, I don't know. You feel me? I'm trying. But at the end of the day, I know my baby needs things. You feel me? So, I'm still going to be the father that I know I need to be. I'm gonna still go get her clothes, get her wife's and stuff that she needs. Um, the, the thing is, is that like, bro, the 29th of this month is gonna make it two months after, since I seen my baby. You know what I'm saying? And her birthday's in October. You feel me? So I, I really, really, really gonna see my baby before her birthday and on her birthday. Cause if I don't, bro, I feel like that's when I'm really, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really fuck around and crash out for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day. I want to be in my kids' life. There's millions of fathers out here that, that that lay down in that bed and make that baby and don't want nothing to do with that kid. You feel me? And at the end of the day, nobody on this earth is perfect, y'all. I'm not perfect. I'm not no perfect father. I never portrayed to be a perfect father. Let me ask y'all a question. Do you think you have to be perfect to say, I know you need light bill money, but I gave you money for Pampers. And because I'm a young nigga and I want to live my life. I, I don't feel like you have to be perfect to say that. Because that's really all that was. She just. 
she needs things because she does. She's not financially, you know, able to do things. He's financially able to do things. So me, I got the mindset, and I'm not a man. Never tried to act like I was one, and ain't even. You know, I love my vagina. Because uh, some of y'all be getting shit misconstrued. I love being a woman. Don't ever get that fucked up. So, but I have the mind of a nigga sometimes. If she tell me she need more money for the baby, I'm going to go out and make some more money. I'm not even going to hold you. Because I know she can't work and do what it is that she do. I got to go out and make me some more money. I think that's that's simple math. Um... Uh, and not to just buy her clothes and, and not look at the tag. Baby mama got to be taken care of to take care of the baby. So, I don't know. Father, you know what I'm saying? I even told y'all a million times, but let me know what I'm wrong. Like, if y'all see me doing something the wrong way, I take constructive criticism. Good. Very good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of nigga to, to you tell me something and I get mad at you. Like, what? Nigga, if I'm doing something wrong and you trying to help me out, thank you, my nigga. Like, I, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I hate he can't but breathe. The the day, I I'm really not hate that. Situation worse. I'm you could tell he really, he's really working. Like <clears throat> when a nigga can't breathe and they still working, that boy, <laughs> that boy working. <laughs> he can't breathe. Y'all can hear it. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, she got her reasons. Even though I don't agree with her reasons and everything, she got her reasons to to why. No, she does need to get her own money. Don't get it fucked up. But the problem is, she don't have the time. Because she has a child on the spectrum. That baby needs a lot of attention. They are afraid to put the baby in certain daycare because she can't talk. So they ain't going to know if something going on because she can't tell them. Anything could be happening and they won't know. So she, her, her, and he just can't. He can't. He can't. Like, I wouldn't. It would be hard for me to do so as well. Like me, fuck, fuck a, uh, uh, any baby, a baby. I don't care if the baby on the spectrum, not on the spectrum. Mango drive me crazy. Okay. I know damn well I will have to take full care of my baby mama. <laughs> like, and because clearly I'm not having no baby, y'all. I'm not. So, um, but I know clearly if my woman were to have a baby, if Honey South were to have a baby today, I already take care of her anyway. And she take care of the household. I would have to take care of, I would have to make more money so I can take care of the baby, take care of Mango, take care of the kids. That's just how I am. So he can't do it. He can't. He ain't even try. Then they have a couple's channel. Yes. But yeah, she, can, she don't have the time. Or the mental capacity for real to really work like that. Why she don't want me to see kids? You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I know I love my baby. <clears throat> I, know I want to be in my daughter's life. I want to do stuff for my daughter. And most importantly, bro, we got a lifetime to go. Said, where's the money at? He got the money, but he over there paying a whole lot of bills. His lifestyle is just high. So they share a house together over there. The um, FOE share house over there. And then he has an apartment. And then he got that high ass car payment, I'm sure. He young. It should be it should be cheaper, but I don't know how his driving is and all that. Um, but it's a Camaro, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, he got a car payment. So two rents, car payment, <clears throat> amongst lights, gas, water, uh, Niggas gotta have a weed, gotta have a, you know what I'm saying? His 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 little turn up pack. He gotta eat. You know? And they don't be thinking about that shit in the moment. You get these ten, twenty thousand dollar checks, they be gone, y'all. They do. No cap. You know what I'm saying, bro? Notice I said they do, because come on. <laughs> they be gone, y'all. Um, That's why I'm certain shit I can't even play with. But I'm older. I've been through some things. Kind of can't play with it when you got a family and shit like that. But also the problem is they're not a family. So he's having an issue with her wanting extra things or needing extra things, i.e. his baby mama. 
and he feel like he's taking care of the baby. He feel like he's covering the baby with milk and, um, you know, the little things that she need. Sierra simply saying, this ain't enough. That's the best I could tell y'all. You no, know, she was in, she was in dance. So I know she gonna have Kinsley in dance classes. She gonna have her like dance recital. Oh, you know, my friend, my course, what, how much, how much course that shit is? 15,000. I need to take my price up. But yeah, my course is currently 850. So yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I those cheerleading. So this stuff that drop the bag. That's what you want. To have to go to together and stuff like that. So I need to make it higher. I I know why Corey did that because you got to make sure people take shit seriously. And I could definitely this y'all the damn girl in the chat put her her TikTok that made five thousand followers in six days. Off of me just giving her a little bit of sauce. Hey, I don't give myself enough credit. At the end of the day, no matter no matter where we end up, where our relationship with each other ends up, bro, she got her reasons to, to why she don't want me to see Kinsley. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I know I love my baby. I know I want to be in my daughter's life. I want to do stuff for my daughter. And most importantly, bro, we got a lifetime to go. You know what I'm saying, bro? Um, I know she was in she was in dance, so I know she's gonna have Kinsley in dance classes. She's gonna have her like dance recitals, cheerleading. So there's stuff that we're gonna have to go to together and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, no matter no matter where we end up, where our relationship okay, with Drea. ends up, bro. Sooner or later we're gonna have to fix it and it's gonna have to be just a mutual understanding. We don't have to be the best and of sorry. Friends, the best of co-parenting, but I really want Kinsley, my baby, to still see us around each other, you feel me, and get that enjoyment, bro. Because y'all know my daughter cannot speak at all. Y'all know she can't speak, so her signs of her communication is just crazy. Like I told y'all multiple times, like I'll go in the house, she'll pull my hand to her, she'll pull her mother hand to me and just stand there and just start jumping around laughing and smiling and hugging us, you know what I'm saying? So she knows, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, bro, I just hope my baby, you feel me, whenever she sees me again, I pray that she remembers me. And I just, I just really hope that she know that She'll never forget her daddy. <laughs> oh, she remember me. <laughs> I love her. You know what I'm saying? She should, bro. She should. You know what I'm saying? She She's really not going to forget you. Because I do. That's my heart. But <laughs> yeah, man. At the end of the day, bro, I'm not trying to make no more you know, the situation worse. You know what I'm saying? I could have kept going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Because all y'all kept saying, real screenshots, real screenshots, real screenshots. I got plenty of screenshots. You feel he me? definitely but, dragged it. And you see, when I made my video, I was still talking about screenshots and shit. Man, y'all know how to fuck some shit up. The girl just answered the phone for you to drop shit off. And you talking about screenshots? I would have realized, all right, this girl ain't playing. She taking my baby and shit. I ain't even finna play with her. Fuck the screenshots. I'm gonna put my pride to the side. Nah, not niggas. <laughs> not niggas. Oh my God. Getting put on child support, knowing out I take care of my baby, knowing the clothes that she has, I bought and the shoes that she has, I bought. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the case. The case is I just want to see my baby. So yeah, man. Hopefully this whole oh, situation, yeah. you feel me? We grow from it, we learn from it, bro. You feel me, y'all? And we just get through it. But today I am gonna go and buy my baby some stuff. I'm gonna have. I'm not saying he don't hurt, um, friend. I'm not saying men don't hurt. What I'm saying is they they know how to make matters worse. With that pride they won't put that pride down just do what it need to take to to for y'all to co-parent correctly if the woman got out of control why are you still playing with her that's all i'm saying if he hurt so bad put your pride down you ain't hurting that bad if you still want to play the same game it's childish that's why i'm telling y'all block these niggas don't answer their phone call block it if y'all don't want to show me no respect, you got to show me respect. You got to respect me. Here. I'm on the gas, and bitch, I'm moving fast. It ain't no stop but me. Appreciate the gifts up, friend. I can still see her and everything. Y'all, that shit loud. That one was loud. I'm never going to give up, you know what I'm saying? Even if I got to go knock on the door a million times, I'm going to go do that. But yeah, um, I guess just every month, I'm going to just have Kaya just drop the clothes off to her and stuff like that. I'm still going to do my part. You feel me? I'm still going to do my part as a parent. You know what I'm saying? And that right there, I respect. And make sure she got clothes. It's, it's sad that 
I got to, um, you know, not say that I got to, but it's sad that I, I, I am, like, get, like, I do stuff for her, but I, still, I can't see her. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. Everything should get better, y'all. Everything should definitely, definitely get better. But, hey, man, we, I'm just here. I just want to better the situation. I'm not on no negative shit. You feel me? I'm not on here trying to bash nobody, bro. I'm not on here trying to just make no situation worse. I just want to be in my daughter's life. That's it. So, yeah, man. Today, we got some errands to run and everything. Right now, I am dropping off my prescriptions because my asthma. I can barely talk in this mug right now. But, yeah, man, I'm just trying to stay, um, say, uh, having high spirits about everything. I do be getting down and stuff, man. I just go in the room and be by myself and stuff. But, um, yeah, man, of course, shit. Yeah. If, if something that was get, something that you guys loved was getting held away from you, I'm pretty sure y'all have down moments too. You feel me? We are human. So, yeah, but I just want to make the situation. I will make sure that I do what I'm supposed to do so I can see my baby, period. That's what I would do. What I got to do? What do I have to do? Please. I need to see my baby, bro. It's the worst, bro. I can, I can go talk about this shit all day, but I ain't. So after this, I'm going to go. Let's get into Karina and Flo. Yesterday was Karina oh, and Oh, they look happy together. Oh, them. Flo's baby shower and all of their friends and family popped out. Oh, now, they did have this baby shower in Houston. So you guys are aware that you will be seeing some familiar faces. Now, I did see that Rob Infinity and a few others was of attendance. Now, guys, another person that was in attendance that I was shocked at was Zavo. If you guys recall, a few months ago, Crystal and Karina fell out, and that caused Karina and Zavo not be friends either because Zavo was best friends with Crystal at the time. Recently, Zavo and Crystal had stopped talking, and Zavo was trying to get back in good graces with Karina. When him and Crystal fell out, he took to Twitter and stated, Now I see what Karina was talking about. I stated that they were back friends, and he had went live and stated that they were not friends, but he did reach out to her and follow her and things like that. Well, other than that, the party was beautiful. Everyone had a great time. They didn't really post much. They might be posting a video on YouTube for you guys to see. So make sure you guys just stay tuned for that. Congratulations again to Karina and Flow. guys looked beautiful i cannot wait i cannot wait i'm so happy for karina you guys all know what karina has been through and she is about to have baby and we're just so excited and just wish her what's the baby name baby all of the best safe delivery safe healings and just many many more I, you can see the smile on her face and she's just filled with joy and she just looks like they are ready to embark on this new journey as parents i honestly don't believe that i would have thought that flo and karina would have had a baby but i'm i'm kind of excited i'm i'm kind of excited to see but y'all comment down below and let us know what you think all right y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i'm done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all hey